Alright guys, so here we are for round 4 of season 1 of F1 2017 career mode here for the Russian Grand Prix in Sochi. Okay then, we've fitted some new parts for this session. Hopefully they'll help you squeeze a bit more pace from the car. Yeah, so you heard the engineer Jeff there talking about the new upgrades that we have received for this round, um, which I think will add some performance to the aero of the car. I think we bought that upgrade back in the second episode in China, although um, initially it failed, but then for this round it has eventually um, come onto the car. So here we are then in practice one, as you can see, just um, doing the practice programs, um, getting the green score for the track acclimatization, then the green score for the timer test, and then at the end we managed to get the purple score for that. Now onto the fuel saving test, we'll get the green score for that as well initially, but pushing on for a second lap now, I got a green score again, and then on my third and final lap, um, I saved the fuel a little bit better and now coming through the final sector here trying to short shift a little bit as we now come through the final corner and we will get the purple score for that so uh, now moving on to the qualifying pace program you can see the delta is currently green as we again come through the final corner now into fourth gear starting a little bit there on the exit but we still get the green score there and um, so yeah that's I, I pushed on on that level I think I still got I actually got the purple score there so that's uh, very positive um, as we now head into the final part of the practice program which is the race strategy um, program as you can see I pushed a little bit too hard there being a little bit too eager on the throttle and I spun into the ball and lost my front wing as you can see on the replay here just um, putting on the power a little bit too early there and um, yeah it eventually cost us with a, a broken front wing there so um, yeah, that was pretty much the end of practice because I didn't have enough time um, to do any more running after that. So um, I think we actually uh, failed the race strategy program. But um, anyway, that's enough for practice. We now move into qualifying one. As you can see here, it's nice and sunny. So there's no um, threat of some rain um, in this session. So um, yeah, preparing us for the session, of course, we need to um, qualify in the top 15 in this first part of qualifying to progress through into Q2 and uh, here we are then starting our first lap. I think this is actually Q2, we managed to get through Q1 without uh, much problem, so uh, we are now skipping to Q2. I'm coming to the end of my first lap here, back down into fourth gear and I'm trying to um, not run it out too wide, we said. Uh, a time which is provisionally the fastest of the session, but of course it's very early on, so not a lot of drivers have set a time yet, so it's not really representative. Now pushing on on my second lap, you can see the delta is currently green, so I, I am improving still on the first run, I'm still using the same set of tires, I still haven't come into the pit box yet, but now coming through um, the final corner before the back straight here, opening the DRS now and now skipping a little bit ahead to the final sector, very technical, very tricky here, it's very easy to lose the back end and... Um, Oversteer the car out of the corner. Now we're coming through the final two corners, breaking just after the one on the medium walk, back down into fourth gear. We cut the corner there a little bit, so apologies for that. But now coming through the final corner, I run it a little bit too wide and I actually spin out, lose my front right tire. And so that is qualifying over. And uh, yeah, that was a bit unfortunate. You can see on the replay again, I uh, kind of cut the corner there a little bit, so that's not very nice for me. Um, but then on the exit, I run a little bit too wide and spun into the ball just like we did in practice but in a different corner and so that is us out of qualifying too as you can see from the onboard just uh, running it out too wide there, too eager on the throttle I still set the time but um, in the end it was just about good enough to get through into Q3 we ended up in 10th place and in Q3 I did some running but I ended up in 10th place as well so here we are then for the race you can see the championship standings there Vettel is leading with Hamilton in second and Bottas in third, as we can see Daniel Ricciardo here with the number three getting ready for the race. And the Constructors Mercedes is actually leading, which is also quite interesting. And actually Sebastian Vettel is on pole position for this race. So he'll be looking to get his second race win of the season since I also think he won back in China. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Here we are then on the grid starting in P9 actually, because somebody in front of me has got a grid penalty. So um, you can see the weather forecast, it is going to be uh, dry for the entire duration of the race. Um, I um, decreased the fuel load a little bit there to um, yeah, have a little bit of a lighter car at the start of the race. So And of course we will be doing a one stop because um, yeah, usually the race at Russia is always a one stop if there is no rain to interfere during the race so uh, we're going to be starting on the ultra softs of course because we have made it through into Q3 and then we'll be going to the super softs at around lap 10 I think and uh, going to the end 
on that tire so here we go now for the formation lap as you can see it just everybody uh, warming up the tires and uh, warming up the engine a little bit maybe to um, avoid getting some problems with that during the race because we have seen in the past that the AI can get um, some engine failures during the race so yeah here we are then lining up on the grid in ninth position behind Roman Grosjean in front of us as we now all grid up for the start of the fourth race of this F1 2017 career mode championship so here we go building up the tension for the five red, red lights to go out as we now just wait for the final car to complete the formation lap. So here we go now to five red lights for the start of the Russian Grand Prix in Season 1 of Korea Mode. And the lights are out and away we go. Having a little bit of wheel, spin, wheel spin off the start which um, turned us to the left a little bit. Now trying to get into the slipstream of Roman Grosjean in front of us as we now come through turn one breaking down for what is actually turn two trying to reach for the eight for the inside here trying to outbreak a few cars we go up the inside back into second gear we almost make contact there but i think we managed to get through there pretty clean and now we're up into p5 from p9 on the grid so we have almost halved our grid position from the start now behind the poor man sebastian vettel who is now back into fourth so he has made a pretty bad start there going from first to fourth in pretty much two corners and um now skipping to the end of the first lap, currently coming through the final sector. I'm also using a fresh engine for this race, if I haven't mentioned already, but you can see the gearbox there is um, becoming a little bit worn, because of course I didn't change that, because we have to do at least six races on that, and we're only on the fourth race so far. So now coming through the final corner here, back down into third gear to get the front end to turn in on heavy fuel, as we now open up lap two of 27 of this race, trying to stay with the front group here, but the top four is, is um, looking to pull away from us, of course, being in faster cars. Vettel and Raikkonen in the Ferrari and I think there's a Mercedes up there as well there's no breakdown into turn 2 on lap 2 trying to clip the apex there of the corner and we managed to neg negotiate that quite well now skipping ahead to the end of lap 2 beginning of lap 3 DRS will be enabled on this lap and we have Esteban Ocon right behind us of course he is in the 4 senior with a very decent straight line speed being a Mercedes powered car so um, so far he is not really attacking us uh, on this trade, not really forming a threat, but I think once the DRS will get enabled on this lap on the back straight, we will certainly trying to get passes. And now we skip to the back straight, you can see the arrow is becoming red and S1 Ocon is now alongside us. He is actually past us now with the DRS, but we're going to be trying to stay in a slipstream. Maybe I'll break him here into the final sector. We go back into second gear, we almost, I think we made a little bit of contact there, but now Ocon is on the inside of the corner. We kind of squeeze him a little bit to the inside and we hold it around the outside so we maintain p5 for now as we now come through turn i think it's turn 15 getting close to the wall there and so far maintaining p5 as we now break down for the final sector penultimate corner now through the final corner in third gear and uh, s1 ocon will again have to drs on this main straight but i think he couldn't mount an attack on the on us there um at that point uh, as now Feltrier bot is actually out of the race he was in front of us and now the uh, virtual safety car has been deployed and this now promotes us up into p4 because um yeah like i said he was in the front group there and so he is now retired from the race and we are now into p4 so that is a great position i think so far this season um the best result we have um we've had so far is like p6 or p7 so it will be great if we can um, maintain this P4 um, you know, until the end of the race, but it's only lap 6 of 27, so there's still a long way to go. This time S1 Ocon didn't, didn't attack us on the straight there, as we have a little bit of, of oversteer on the exit of the corner there. Back into third gear, now we actually make a mistake there, we go wide onto the, the concrete there, and now S1 Ocon is through around the outside, so that's very uh, unfortunate there, but we're going to dive it back up the inside into the penultimate corner. We almost touch once again, but we maintain P4 for now. And uh, again, S1 Ocon, he is really wanting to get passes. I made a stupid mistake there. I kind of just outbroke myself and, and slid out wide. And now Ocon again is trying to get past us. He's looking to the outside of the corner. Of course, he is the DRS. Sojo Perez is behind us as well. He's going to the inside. It's three wide coming into turn two. Breaking down now. Back down into third grade. We almost lose the back end. And we just about managed to make it through there without any contact. And we maintain P4 once again. As you can see on the replay, I just ran it out wide there. I was sliding right onto the blue uh, concrete there. Ocon got through around the outside. And I was having absolutely none of it. So I dove it back up the inside into the penultimate corner, as you can see there. And it was actually a pretty nice move there, pretty clean. And so we maintained P4 on lap 
I think it's lap 4 and here you can see the 3 wide moment into turn 2 just in a false India savage the teammates collided there actually I think Esteban Ocon and Sergio Perez actually touched on the exit of the corner and um, so once again we maintain P4 I was really desperate to hold on to this position because I just didn't want to lose it because we are just yeah so far up the field and um, I really want a position like this. It will really do us um, a world of good in the championship. This is now the second lap. You can see now the, both the four seniors going side by side again, touching there, just like in real life. Sojo Paris and Esteban Ocon going side by side through turn three here. Who's going to be the last of the late breakers? They're still going side by side. And Sojo Paris is holding it around the outside, I think it is. But now. They're again going side by side through turn one. Ocon almost goes up the inside of me there. And uh, Ocon is so far, so far against the supremacy over his, over his teammate. So um, yeah, not only battles with us, but just the entire train behind us is uh, having a lot of battles with each other. And uh, so now skipping all the way to lap eight of this race. Again, Ocon behind us coming through the corner um, before the back straight. We put the engine up into Rich Mix to try and defend from that Force India car in a slipstream with DRS. Just like a few laps ago, again Ocon goes to the outside before breaking down into turn 13. Again, we dive back up the inside, we almost lock up. Ocon locks up a bit as well. And now again going side by side through this corner. Ocon is in a tighter line on the inside and we hang it around the outside once again. And we maintain P4 again in this race. And it's definitely um, becoming very intense now to hold on to this position. And Ocon just tries it absolutely everywhere to get through on us. This time on the next lap, lap 9. Again, Ocon in his slipstream. Will he attack us once again? He will. Again to the outside. And now we're going to be the last of the late breakers into this corner. We again go up the inside, back down into third gear. We lock up the inside front tire again. And again we make a little bit of contact there. But once again we hold on to P4 on lap 9. As so now come through the final sector once again, tires are going off a little bit as well now. Um, as you can see, Daniel Ricciardo here, he is in this train as well, and he is actually opting to go into the pit, so he is going to do the undercut on us. So we have to worry about that because Daniel Ricciardo, he is stuck in his train, so that's probably why he's coming in early. He feels like he's getting held up, and uh, we have to be uh, very wary of that because Ricciardo, he is going on to another set of ultra soft tires, as you can see here. So he will be very quick in clean air, and... Um, Hopefully we'll be making our pit stop on this lap probably and uh, if Ricardo gets clean air and, and gets a good outlap, um, he might jump us. Alright, so our teammate Daniel Kvyat is also doing a good job being in P8 in the points um, paying positions at the back of this train. But once again on lap 10, Ocon again going to the outside. Again, we're going to be trying to outbreak him here. Going to the apex into turn 13. We again make contact. The hand of anger goes up and we almost lose the back end again in fourth gear. So yeah, this is now lap 10. We are going to be coming into the pits here. I see lose the back end uh, almost as we come into the pits. So that was a bit of a sketchy pit stop there or a sketchy pit entry, but um, yeah, we'll be making our pit stop now. Ricardo went to the ultra soft tires, so he's doing a two stop. I'm going to the super softs, I'm going to the end on the tires I will put on now. So Ricardo is definitely going to make another stop because he can't go to the end on a set of ultra softs. So um, that's very interesting. So yeah, that's our pit, this is our pit stop now. I think this was pretty decent, 2.5 seconds or something like that as we now rejoin. Hopefully we'll be able to get into some clean air, but more importantly, Ricardo, he will probably jump us, but where is he gonna come out? in relation to us because we were in front of him uh, when he made his pit stop so um, as we rejoin the track we are pretty much in no man's land so Ricardo must have had an amazing in lap because he is nowhere to be seen and he is um, like a few hundred meters in front of us so yeah we are now on the super soft tires it is very important though that we have rejoined in clean air because we are now able to push trying to fend off the rest of the field because there are a few drivers that have stayed out the extra lap and uh, if they can um, now, I was really holding at that train and really forming the train behind me, so um, if the drivers who stayed out the extra lap can um, do a good in-lap here, then um, maybe they'll be able to jump us. So I really have to push now and as we now open up lap 12 of this race, coming over the back straight once again, going through turn 1 there, which is not really a turn, it's more like a kink in the circuit, but anyway, it's officially turn 1. And uh, we are now in 11th place, but still there are a few drivers in front of us yet to make the first stop of the race. As we are now behind Stoffel Van Dorn, still on the ultra soft tires, so he is one of those drivers still yet to make a pistol. But of course, we are not racing him since he is a lot further down the field. We actually have some nice slipstream and DRS there to aid us onto this straight. 
and uh, we actually are setting our fastest lap of the race on this lap as you can see as you can see we are going green into the second sector intermediate there so now coming through the final couple of corners, the penultimate corner and then the final corner in fourth gear. Back into third again to get the nose in on heavy fuel as we now open up lap 13 of the race. Sending our fastest lap there and uh, let's see in which position we will rejoin track once all the pit stops shuffle out. We are currently in P P8 and that's where we are now on track. I don't know if there are still drivers in front of us to make a stop. I think there are because we can't be that far behind. And uh, now Ocon is actually... No, it's Perez. He is um, actually touching us on the straight there. Our hand goes up in frustration. And Perez now has the inside 4 turn 2 but He actually locks up into the corner. And we maintain P8 for now. I wasn't even paying attention. I was still talking about pit stops. While we are just uh, banging wheels with Perez. With like 300 kilometers per hour on, on the straight. So that was very uh, dangerous there. But... Um, still we maintain P8 for now, now on the start of lap 16, again Perez with the DRS looking to make an attack on us into turn 2, will we go for the outside or the inside, I defend the inside but Perez can see some further to the inside, he is now up the inside into turn 2, who's going to be the last of the late breakers, I try to go in, try to get a bit of a cut back there but it doesn't really work, Perez has made it stick properly for the first time in this race as we are now back into 9th position taking a little bit of a tighter line there into turn 3 this long left hand and we may dive it back up the inside into turn 4 back into 3rd gear losing the back and even touching him there and we just about managed to maintain that position with a bit of contact it was very aggressive for me there but we have to keep this position I was so desperate to for this position because I really don't want to lose any points in this championship and uh, now going through the middle sector here on lap 16 again tires are pretty good now it's only 11% on the front and 13 on the rear so tire isn't really an issue of course on this track but um, <laughs> the force india behind us definitely is as now on the back straight paris will again have drs onto the straight here but is he close enough to mount an attack on us into turn 13 at the start of the final sector i don't think he is as we break down now back into third gear and for the first time in a while, there isn't a car of taking us on the back straight there. So, um, still in P8, we have Lancero in front of us. I don't know, maybe he started on the Super Source and goes to the Ultra Source at the end. Because, of course, he didn't qualify in the top 10 into Q3. So, I think that's why we're a little bit further down the field than we should be. And I think once all the pit stops shuffle out, we will be back in about P5 or so. I think Ricardo has jumped us for good, though. But, um, yeah, we now open up lap 17 of this race. Once again, try to defend from Paris with rich mixture, and um, hopefully this time he won't be close enough to make an attack, and he isn't. But now on the next lap, again we defend the inside once again, but again Paris goes to the inside. Can he this time make the move stick? Again we try to break his later. We can back down to the third. Can we go side by side through turn two, and we just have managed to hold on to what is now P4. So yes, the pit stops have um, shaken out now, and actually I got the corner there, and I get a three second penalty. You can see on my wheel there, I was really frustrated about that. It was just a stupid mistake, just turning in too early and this is really gonna harm our race because you can see the trade we have behind us as you know if our compatriot Max, Max Verstappen behind again but you can see the train behind three seconds worth of penalties that is gonna really let us tumble down the field because three seconds that's like five positions so now coming into turn two we get tagged by Paris and four senior goes up the inside we go even further up the inside we cut the corner in the process the hand goes up in frustration we got three white now in the final sector again contact on the exit Paris go through we, we dive back up the inside we go wide squeeze him out wide and wow that was an absolutely mental overtake there and uh, look at that train behind us this is absolutely crazy but again, I wasn't even paying attention. I was talking about that penalty still. But meanwhile, we're just having an absolute fight for P4 in this race. As you now open up lap 20 out of 27. Eight laps to go now. And uh, our compatriot Max Verstappen again behind us. He is in a Red Bull, which is a little bit slower than the Force India with the Renault power. But again, it doesn't stop him. He, he goes to the inside with the DRS. Can we maybe outbreak him into turn two? We have a Force India up the inside as well. And Max Verstappen has got through on us as we almost lose the back in there. Again, taking a tight line into turn three. Can we outbreak him into turn four? We are a bit. We have a bit of dirty air. That's why I took a line more to the inside. But now we again dive back up the inside into third gear, locking up the inside front. And again. We maintain P4, and from this moment onwards, Max Verstappen actually had a problem, so he is holding up the rest of the field behind us. So I really was pushing on as much as I could here to try and break away from the rest of the field, because of course we have that 3 second penalty. And I was really trying my absolute hardest to pull away from the rest of the field, just dri driving as smooth as possible. 
and he just wasn't able to pull away from the rest of the field. Again, we have Ocon behind us. Lewis Hamilton has won the race. We are now on the final lap, coming through the final corner to take P4 on track. But where is it going to put us in the actual results? It's seventh place. Wow, so absolutely crazy race. It was very intense, very enjoyable though. A lot of battles, but yeah, Mercedes have taken out the race win here in the form of Lewis Hamilton, but man, what a race that was. If I wouldn't have had a penalty, I would have got fourth place there, but unfortunately, it's seventh place. I, I'm not too angry about it because I deserved that penalty. I completely cut the corner. It was completely my fault, but um, I'm still happy that I still finished in the points. Because um, so far this season, we have finished every single round in the points. I also finished in the points in Bahrain, China and Australia. So um, that's a nice statistic to hopefully carry on throughout the rest of the season. But still, we could have had a lot more points than what we did there. And um, But yeah, I can't be too displeased about that. So um, Also, my teammate Daniel, I think, finished in the points as well. I think he finished like P8 or P9 or something like that. So um, yeah, Mercedes, both the Ferraris on the podium as well. Um, and I think it's also looking to be quite um, close at the top between Hamilton, Vettel and Raikkonen in the championship. But yeah, that has been the race for round four of this career mode. You can see we finished in seventh place there. Actually, Kafia dropped down massively. He finished in 13th in the end while he was in the front group all the way at the start of the race. But something has happened to him probably. And uh, yeah, Lewis Hamilton takes out the victory end with Vettel and Raikkonen alongside him on the podium. Great um, position as well from S1 Ocon, getting 4th place in that 4th senior. Magnussen as well outperforming that Haskar in 5th place. And uh, Daniel Ricciardo actually ended up behind us on track with that 2-stop strategy, um, but still finished in front of us due to the penalty. We can see Valtteri Bottas retiring, of course, at the beginning of the race. Max Verstappen down in 14th place is also quite remarkable. And uh, you saw that in the championship, that the, the top of the championship is very close there with Hamilton leading at the moment. So yeah, that's been this episode of Career Mode. You can see the career score and the research points in the rivalry and stuff like that. Um, in the rivalry with our teammate, we are currently drawing actually, so that's quite interesting. Um, we have gained a little bit in the team approval and uh, yeah, the career score as well. Um, actually, we also had an invitational event um, at the end of this race, which you'll be able to see in a few moments. You can see it here, we have the option to choose Time Attack in Austria or a Checkpoint Challenge in Brazil. And uh, I decided to go for the Checkpoint Challenge in Brazil, as you can see here. Um, we had to um, you know, drive through the gates within a specific amount of time. This car, by the way, it felt like an absolute boat to drive after being used to the 2017 cars. It was so understeery, so much oversteer as well. And uh, yeah, it was quite nice to drive. I liked sliding the car around, but it was definitely very understeery. But um, in the end, I also wasn't even able to pass the test. I had a lot of attempts at this. I think I tried it like, I restarted like 20 times, but I just wasn't able to beat it. Um, every time I was like two or three seconds, I came like, yeah, two or three seconds short at the end. So um, that was a bit disappointing. But to be honest, I don't really care because the only thing you get for it is career score and I mean, who, who cares about career score? I think nobody does. As you can see there, I just ran out of time. But yeah, that's been the end of this episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, then leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I'm sorry, by the way, if my voice is a little bit different because I am going through a bit of a cold at the moment. So actually, my voice is hurting a little bit after talking for about 20 minutes now. But um, anyway, I hope you guys don't really mind and don't really hear it in the video. But yeah, that's been the end of this video. I'll see you in the next one.